Let's do a visit data demo, and it's a quick one today. So I have a large compressed JSONL file of submissions to relationship advice. And I was curious about whether mothers or fathers tend to be mentioned more, just roughly speaking. I had my intuition. And it's a large file. It's 1.3 gigabytes. I could load that into visit data and it's amazing in that it's asynchronous and it can start showing you data and allowing you to do some analysis before it's completed parsing the whole file. But because this is a big file, even with my 32 gigabytes of RAM, visit data can get stuck and sometimes even crash with such large data files. So it'd be nice if I could filter out a lot of the stuff that I'm not interested in from the start. So I'm gonna do this with a command called ripgrep. It's written in Rust, it's orders of magnitude faster than typical compression, decompression uh, utilities and the grep utility. So what I'm doing here, rip grep, dash Z means compress, dash E, I'm looking for the word wedding. And I'm looking through the JSONL dump of relationship advice. Because this is a JSONL file, that means every submission is on a single line. If that wasn't the case, this would be much less useful. But what I'm going to do is I can do that here, and I'm going to pipe what it finds to visit data. And it's loading, and it's not giving me percent because it doesn't know how much data is coming at it, but it wasn't that much because I grepped through it, and it has 30,000, roughly speaking, rows of data that I might be interested in that mention weddings somewhere in all of the data associated with this mission. I'm going to run a macro to format it nicely, and because I'm interested in titles specifically, and you know, I can do lots of very quick operations over 30,000 rows, which is much less than the original 3 million. Let's search for a wedding. It found 8,000 posts with wedding in the title. I can zoom into that, then I can search for mother. It found 222. I can unselect those, and then I can search for father. It found 161. So mothers tend to be mentioned more in these post titles than fathers. I hope that's useful to you, especially if you're working with big data.